this this very well could be no problem for Vitality. Yeah, I think especially uh, the way that that well, shocks. I think you know we're always wondering: is he going to be there? Is he going to be good? And how's it going to play out? But the fact that Apex has shown up in such a brilliant way has uh, at least really encouraged me. I think it's been great fun to watch. So I sort of felt a little bit bad predicting against them, although. You know, at the same time, who knows? Maybe it's like a benefit to them at, at the end. We don't know how this works anymore. Oh, ho, ho. well, we are off to the races. Nico with an instant headshot to take down RPK. And uh, fighting outside. Now he'll drop Saibu as well. And it doesn't get any better than this. Uh, three on five to beginning. And Nico with two kills. Oh, that is so very nice. Apex going to try and do what he can. Brokey finds a headshot as well. And it's a five on two. Shox is in this upper bomb site, but he's got nothing to do. He can he can kind of lurk, but the bomb is down, and it's not going to have any impact. This is spectacular shooting coming out from FaZe to start things out. And what a message to send in the pistol round. Yeah, you that first kill, all right, fair enough, through the squeak door. Maybe, maybe that becomes a bit of a problem later on, but... Then they just keep getting slowly, uh, slowly taken out as they try and cross down into the B bomb site. So, great pistol round for FaZe. No bomb plant means Vitality aren't going to be buying just yet. So, I don't know, you picked FaZe for this one as well, didn't you? I did. I did indeed pick FaZe for this one. I had a lot of faith in them coming in, and I'm not still... I, I don't know. I still uh, am very wary of the up and down nature of Vitality, even though the last two series have been very good. Even though, I mean, Apex had an incredible series yesterday, and he's been pretty consistent. He was 64 and 44 in the three maps against Navi yesterday. He led the team, um, which is which is absolutely mental. But I still feel like there's some level of uh, of discrepancy in the Vitality performances um, that that I think I think Phase, especially with the loss they took yesterday, I think Phase is probably lends itself to being way more like personally insulted that they would lose to complexity, that they would be so fired up coming into today. It's funny, that's actually a little bit of my, my sort of thinking too. I just I just think if they, they're not going to be happy about, you know, how yesterday was. Yeah, they, they surely are going to be super ready. That's, that's actually part of my reasoning as well. Yeah, it's it's one of my favorite parts about this team, and it's not that it like descends into any kind of like disrespect against their opponents, but but I feel like FaZe just have the players who would look down and be like, we yep. should not be losing to these people. Like more than any other team in the professional scene, I think they have a little bit of a superiority complex that that I actually really enjoy. Yeah, I agree. Uh, it's a big part of the reason why I was uh, picking this team here today. Nico, oh, that slant flick, he's just going to get every single one. That is, that's a very smooth ace. Again, they don't have any armor, so we're not going to go completely crazy, but that was, oh man, that looked cool. Did he style on them for the last one? Is, that, is this just like a, an art thing? He's like, boom, sit down, Sharks. He gets in that mood once in a while where, like, he makes sure that he is, like, shows off the one-taps. Like, you can see when he's really trying to go for the for the one-taps, the really clean headshots. And, yeah, that might be, uh, that might have been one of those times. Either way, AKs are out for Vitality. Four of them with the Galil on RPK. Plenty of utility. This is looking fast as well. Shock's going to lead the way outside. Blocked off by Flames for the moment. And no defense is going to be mounted. He's going to be alone. He pushes forward along the smoke. Well, small gap at the beginning, but he makes it safely. All right, Shock sticking to the plan. Even slowed down from the Molotov. I, I thought that would have been very dangerous. It's one thing to try and beat the timing, but you can't really do that when you're slowed behind the Molotov and he still keeps going and there's no one there to spray him down. So that's kind of good news. Now, that's the first part of the plan. Get Shocks into the lower part of the bomb site. The second part of the plan, well, we'll have to find out exactly what it is. The lobby or the sort of the, uh, the ramp crunches are super popular if you could make them work. Looks like they actually want to be walking out. No con this is a contact play. Rain, he's going to be traded. It's shocking that he even got the one kill there. And yeah, there's a bit of an alarm going off on this A-bomb side. Good kill for Cold Zero. See if Brokey could do much of anything here with a scout. But the bomb is going to be planted. This is a cool strategy for Vitality. I can't believe Shox is still here. Nico's going to turn the corner. I don't think he'll expect it. Oh, the timing. That's brutal. Shox just looks away. And now the flank is opened up. Saiwoo stuck in mini. He's got to move out of that position as well. Low HP and another smoke might be his savior. There are two kits on phase, so they have time for this, but they must find these kills. Yeah. Bit of a grenade to set them up. Big swing. Oh, <laughs> Mid-air taking down Brokey and Cyro continues almost with the triple kill. That would have been perfect. And now Nico hunting him, but Apex is just playing ring around the rosy. And it doesn't even matter if he goes down there at the end. Brilliant end to that round. What a shot from Cyro. That was amazing. 
Yeah, that is a nice little clutch. I'm curious about that smoke that was thrown from heaven into the back corner. It feels like it actually saved Apex's life. I actually think this is a really cool call from Vitality, not just because of Shox turning into a lurker outside, but remember, if you if you watch the game that FaZe Clan played against Complexity yesterday, they got destroyed with those hits out Squeaky Door. FaZe had no answer to stopping the attack through Squeaky. They had, I mean, Complexity had free access to the upper bomb site, and I don't think it's a bad idea at all for Vitality to test that in this game and see if that defense is going to be any better. Well, I mean, this is, uh, you know, you say phase, but really, if you wanted to even narrow it down further, Rain was really getting blown up in that yeah. squeak doll, right? That was, that was like I a was, continuous I was trying problem. to avoid, you know, naming names. I know you're a sweet <laughs> person like that, Jason, but I'm not, so here we go. No, I, was, <laughs> it, it, the, I mean, it wasn't even that Rain was actually playing horribly badly or anything, but that just, I mean, you know, it, it was a point of, of weakness overall that was just exploited a lot. Uh, and I'm sure, I mean, that could even, you could even argue that's a reason maybe why Rain will be even more switched on today. Like, he, you know, might not suffer the same same kind of problems. It's unlikely, I would say. He's an absolute world-class player. Flick out there from Brokey, not connecting with anyone. And they know that obviously in play, though. Trying to trace it through. It does a fair bit of damage. It's a pretty good start. Bringing Cyborg and Sharks a little bit low. A little bit low. Nico going to toss the nade out behind the smoke. Ooh, that actually might catch him. He jumps right back into it. Zaiwu might be a little bit lucky to be alive there. And this is slow from Vitality. Zaiwu and Shox in secret. Masuta, Apex, and RPK look like they want to come join up. But if they want to do that, they have to reset up the smoke wall. So this is going to be tough for them to cross. They might not want to actually commit towards secret at all. And it might be an attack in mini. Nico Molotov is going to force him back. It's not catching him. It oh. does right at the end, but he sticks around long enough for an easy tap to the side of Shox's head. What a dirty play that is. I actually thought, why is he, st why is he standing? It's surely going to spread, but that was well calculated. He was a couple of steps ahead of everyone there. And this is a, what a defense to put up here right after Vitality get that uh, great round in. They're going to be uh, completely stumped here. It's now a two versus five. With Simu low on health from earlier, and Misuta, he's sneaking around, but again, what does it matter? He did get the ramp room control at this point in time. simu has gone down, and now Misuta is going to speed it up. I don't mind this. I mean, why not just try and see if you could, you could catch them? It's not going to happen, and it will be a third round for FaZe. With Nico at 11-0, and 0, uh, if you're keeping a count at home. When is he going to yeah, someone's going to stop him, uh... surely? Yeah, well, this is, I mean, kind of what we talked about is, is Nico coming into this. I mean, do you, we knew him, and, and it's specifically in my mind, him and Cold Zero were going to be the yes. ones to take the most offense to that loss yesterday and would come in just straight fired up. So Nico's getting them started on the right foot. He's setting the attitude. He's setting the tone. And 11 to nothing is no slouch for a beginning. And that's going to make things much easier for FaZe when they rotate around the map on this defense. Again, going to test Nico. And look at the day damage. They're already brought down so low. <laughs> he sprays down three and a fourth. He's up to 15. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. <laughs> He's laughing as well. Oh man. Yeah, I it's so weird because that's exactly my my sort of feeling of, of their personalities, right? I think, you know, a loss like the one day they took yesterday is a great motivator. If you were feeling like, oh, I don't wanna I don't wanna prepare or I don't wanna spend some extra hours looking at demos like you take a loss like they did yesterday, that everyone is gonna wanna do that. Everyone's gonna feel ready, so yeah. It's looking good at the moment, although it's it's early days. It's still just a sixth round here. So let's see. I like that idea from Vitality earlier where they had shocks, shocks, you know, walk down secret, and then they actually just walk through uh, the squeak door. I thought that was a, a cool idea. Uh, we'll see if they are going to continue to use shocks in that fashion and, you know, have him look around. This time it's the entire team outside, though, with the smokes closer to mini. Ooh, shocks is going to be able to cross with his teammates, four of them over. Spray coming in late for Nico, but you're already seeing some players drop. Rain has went in towards the vents. He's going to be down there. He might be able to stop them, but he's not peeking just yet. Tomas in the sight. Oh, immediate headshot continues the spray, and then Rain pounces, and Brokey adds in with the op. And again, Vitality might have access to the bomb site, but they've lost so much. Yeah, they really have. Apex, I think this is a clever idea, but Cold Sierra, oh, looks like he's one step ahead. He's actually going to go down the vent, but they've lost him as Suter in the meantime. I still think this is a cool play from Apex, and if they'd had just a slightly better uh, 
trade into the bomb side if this had been something like a four on three instead would have been a, a really powerful play here but with the whole team gone there's no reason anyone has to really do much of anything here until apex gets a little bit closer to something that looks like a bomb plant they're fighting him at a distance and nico still is immortal in this game five and one and 16 and 0 on nico <laughs> okay now i mean let's hold it in check this is a phenomenal start for nico he's had what four kills on the first or on that most recent eco round he's had he's had some easier frags but still an impressive impressive start to this game oh my lord and he's 10 frags ahead of the next closest on his team that's brokey with six meanwhile you go over to the vitality side we've played six rounds and there's a total of five kills across the entire team he bought that uh, VIP armor, Jason. He's up to 200 or 400. Yeah, I just tweeted this morning as well that I wanted uh, I wanted to bring VIP mode back. So that that fits in well with the narrative. Well, there we go. Yeah, I want it back as well. I think it's uh, it's great fun. We could have whole VIP tournaments. It could be could be like a, a sub class of Counter Strike. It'd be amazing. Here comes Nico. Ooh, and he's finally going to be going down. Apex to drop him. Side one. Oh, okay. The digs continue, and there's one more. Shocks. That's so ridiculous. Four Deagle kills in the space of five seconds to bring down the entirety of phase. What an outrageous round. Yeah, that's uh, that's a ridiculous one after all the struggles to win with Deagles, but uh, but fair play. That's a, that, that should be a nice wake-up call from FaZe that they weren't just going to be able to coast like that the entire half. That's a good round for Vitality to win. To make them second-guess some of their confidence in over-aggression. And we'll see how the rest of this half goes, but just some beautiful shooting with the Deegs. Op is still on Brokey, and unfortunately, that Op that he had in the previous round was passed for free over to Zaiwu, so it's going to get more difficult. And automatically, Vitality win with all five players surviving off the back of upgraded pistols. They've got so much cash all of a sudden. Stay cool. Timing on that push could have nearly got Bimas killed. Suture is on the other side, and yeah, because of the flashbang, he's definitely going to be checking it. He did nearly go down, and RPK fell to rain. So, still a four on four with a lot of damage on Misuta. And yeah, the money is pretty good, and that's that's important. Not so good on phase, though, on the other hand. If this turns out to be a win for Vitality, the, uh, the tempo and the feel of this first half could change pretty quickly. Yeah, very quickly. Cold Zera up in the rafters. Shocks again lurking outside. He eventually makes his move. He's going to have Nico to go up against. Yeah, Rain and Cold Zera in the upper bomb site should be just fine, unless Shocks can pull a fast one on Nico. I don't think he's peeking all the way to actually find this. He's at an angle where he can't see. Whoa. That means Rain might just be a free kill. Now he's coming in, and that might be the perfect call. Oh, Shocks is going to go down. An important frag. And now Vitality just have to move forward. Rain again in the open, but Cold Zera's got him covered from behind. And the squeak door is the main point of attack. But every time Vitality gain any kind of map control, they've done it at the cost of one player. And finally, <coughs> FaZe are going to close out the round with three alive. Man, I feel for Shocks. Uh, that previous round where he was looking, he was waiting for Nico down to the secret stairs, and he just turned away. And then this round where he's sort of looking for him the whole time and, and is waiting, Nico's just finding some amazing timings against Shocks uh, individually. Wow, that's a nice opening from Rain. I didn't even realize that. I just, I mean, this is this is kind of, I mean, not nice for Vitality, but it is nice in the sense that they all have, like, four of them have over $6,000, right? So they're taking this time out here to actually have a discussion about what they want to do. And they've got the cash to put any plan they want in, into effect. And, I mean, they can even come up with a two-round plan considering the money that they have. Yeah. So FaZe responding immediately. Still a four-round lead. <clears throat> Nico up to 18 kills in, in eight rounds. Yeah, uh, it's individually for him a ridiculous start. But we just saw in the last round, if Vitality would have won that, this whole first half would have felt very different already. So as much fun as it is to see Nico uh, fly away into the sky like that, um, you definitely shouldn't get fooled by the fact that the Vitality could still come uh, back pretty quickly here. Apex, that's an aggressive move outside. He's going to be into mini really, really fast, and he's going to win the fight against Rain. What a brilliant pickup. The Molotov on Cold Serum. Did he just freeze inside of it? It looked like he knew and just still didn't manage to go anywhere. That's so odd. Yeah, that, that is a bit strange. Vitality going to win it. A third round. They cut the lead. Bamas and uh, Nico just need to be able to save these weapons. This isn't even worth going for. Not even worth investigating. I think he wants an AWP, but it's 
appears it's dropped down. So risky for Bemos to go for that, but it's all good. He's going to fall back. What a cool strategy. I mean, again, not particularly elaborate. You could, you could see the power of it there. I think the Molotov, though, I really want to go back and see the, who threw that Molotov. You can probably throw it from, from out on the T roof if they did that. While wow, so all Apex needs is the one kill, and actually called Zero as much as it looked weird. Where is he going to go? If he swings in, he knows Apex is going to be looking at it from mini. If he swings to the right, then it's going to be the, the, the hot part of the push that's going to surely be taking him down. So, he's super interested in this. He just has to win this one yeah. fight, and they're in a great position. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, that that's always the case with Nuke, right? It's just that, that one play through mini fast, and especially with an entry fragger like Apex, who's not going to have any fear of just ignoring all the danger outside. I mean, that that is that is one area where maybe Nico's going to have to adjust the way he's playing. I know he's playing a great game so far, but a little bit more aggressive to prevent that kind of a swing. And you can see here, right behind the smoke, he wants to challenge. Looking up towards Silo at the moment, dodging the spam through those smokes. Oh, flashbang is out, but he gets blinded. Can't really peek around it. And Apex, he's coming through. This might be a double kill. There's the first, and Nico converts for one more. Yeah, that's really good. Fantastic trade. I'm so curious about that flashbang. I wonder if that flashbang, because Nico was looking straight into it. So either Colts here didn't call it and just flashed his teammate, or that was almost a fake to try and pretend like Nico was, you know, going to be somewhere else. Because normally that's a flash you use to flash someone in if they are, you know, at secret or even at the garage or something like that. And obviously he was so far up that, yeah, just flashed him instead. It could have been just a miscom. Could have been Nico yeah. saying, oh, I hear two or three outside and Cold Zera just running over, whoever running over and just throwing the flashbang immediately and not waiting for, for Nico to actually call for it. Yeah. Man, there's uh, that's still a lot of nades used by the face side. Rain is out. Cold Zera's out of nades as well. They were low on funds. Brokey just has the one EG grenade. So actually, two smokes, a Molotov, and like six flashbangs. Five flashbangs for Vitality. And that smoke wall is all the smokes they have left. So they're going to have to hit mini. They don't have those smokes to go to the lower bomb site. No point in heading there. Potentially dangerous miss coming out from Brokey. It seems like they will be fine. Rain, though, he's going to have to run into the fire. And he gave it all to get that last kill on RPK. Fair play, I guess. 7-3 to three in favor of FaZe and leading into round number 11. That is uh, still a pretty good economy for Vitality. I mean, considering how this has played out, they haven't won any consecutive rounds. And yet they are, uh, their round loss bonus and, and I guess the the few bomb hunts they've had has kind of uh, done a little bit for them. And the fact that they won that one round it's with also, the Eagles. Yeah, I was going to say it's the power of winning, winning a round with Deagles where all five of your players survive. I think they had at least four upgrades out of that round. So that, that's massively helpful. I'm so confused about the spy. They could have had way more. They're going to try and see if they can make it through the hut, and they're going to get slaughtered on the approach. Cold Syrah finally having a bit of a round here. You could see his frustration earlier, but that is a nice triple kill, and that will shut it all down. I, I swear they could have had four AKs and just a Tech-9 or something on, on, on Saibu like he has anyway. I, I just... I'm so confused. I think oh, well, my my way of rationalizing that would be they w actually hold the thought. We'll get to that this round, the Moss is going to get a nice easy double kill. So we'll just go back to it immediately. I think they wanted to try and hit a fast upper hit out quite obviously. I mean, we saw them with the rush, but using the Mac 10s to be able to get out and be mobile and swing into the bomb site, clear top hut. You can jump out of hut. You can become a more difficult target. So a bit more wieldy than the AK-47s. And it leaves them enough money to have a buy in this round as well. Apex, RPK at 5,500. Zaiwu's at 3,500, Shock's at 7,000, so you don't fully deplete all of your all of your coffers. Although it is a bit of a head-scratching call when you're down, you know, 3 to 7 at that point. So Vitality having a tough time finding the, uh, the winning formula. Yeah, they are, and, and in spite of having some... Some of the rounds they've won have just looked so easy for them, and then all the rest of them is nothing like that, so... Some volatility in uh, the performance of Vitality so far here in the first half. 12th round is going to have to be different. Maybe, they, maybe the thing they wanted as well was not more AKs, but that AWP on Saibu. Maybe, the, maybe this is Saibu's call to say, I'm going to go fight Brokey or Nico or whoever's going to be outside, and I'm going to win that fight. So, yeah, he's running straight there. So let's see if this confidence is well placed in Saibu or if it's going to be a mistake. Thought maybe he would get boosted on top of the smoke or up on... Yeah, so, well, this is such a cool play. I love this. Very, very hard to see on the other side, even if you know it's coming. But so far, no no one's up there by heaven. Brokey playing further down. 
I mean, he's even he's even aiming at the gap in the smoke over the top of it. He's looking exactly for that boost. What a great reaction from Zaiwu. <laughs> Broki couldn't do it fast enough, so boost be damned. Broki is lured into getting picked off. Well, there's that confidence, right? I mean, that's a call you you make to to force well, so to make the team buy this weapon for you, and then you have you just have to hit the shot. Coldzera, speaking of confidence, has pushed into the hut. He knows they're able to wrap behind him, so we talk about this frequently. This is a great call, but he's got to be careful. The timing, that's going to be frustrating. He had the right play, and he gave it up to flash for a teammate. I think he was flashing for Nico. And it's unfortunately just not going to pan out. This round has slipped away from FaZe. Excuse me, not Nico. I was reading the minimap wrong. I don't even know what he was flashing for, to be honest with you, but he had a solid position inside hut. Yeah, well, Rain, oh, it's true. Rain was right next to him. I don't know what he was flashing for either, but there must it looked like it was some sort of a team call, right? Like, let's let's do something. And and that actually got him off the angle. Completely agree. That's a, If they're coming out of heaven like that, if you can stop the hot part of the push, then you've actually got a great position. Also, the hot part of the push is the part that you normally carries the bomb because you're yeah. not going to risk dropping the bomb somewhere outside all the way back towards T spawner behind Redbox. So I, that's, I, I thought Coldzera made a, a really intelligent decision, a really solid play, and unfortunately just kind of either second guessed it or gave it up for whatever reason. A call from a teammate, it doesn't matter, but he never had a chance to get into that fight. Some definite <laughs> frustration. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. At least he's not banging. He's not doing the the uh, the cold zero quake, the cold quake. Yeah, we've, we've we'll get there maybe. It was uh, certainly spawned a lot of discussion uh, around the community. I noticed, so uh, we had that. It's entertaining, if nothing else. Eight to four, the scoreline, and moving into the thirteenth round, Nico now changing his position, a position that's really commonly Molotov. So not going to be happening this time. Just Shocks cruising in and winning that fight, and that's got to feel great if you're Shocks, even if you dropped a bit low, just to finally take down Nico. Yeah, it would, would for, for no cost really. Although unfortunately, Zaiwu has gone down as well. Brokey gets the better of him this time. Shocks picks up that AWP with eleven health, and he's peering outside also. Round number 13 of this first half. You're coming in late to the broadcast, or you missed yesterday. This is the uh, the lower bracket final. The winner of this will play Complexity immediately after. Who's awaiting them in the grand finals of Blast Premier. Yeah, and I believe uh, secure a spot in the global finals, right? Uh, along with Complexity. That's right. Complexity, yeah, they already have their spot in the global finals. Winner of this also confirms a spot in the global finals. Almost a double kill for Coldzera. Two players left in a, in a two on three for FaZe. Rain is just on the lip of that. He's waiting for it. Broke if he get this kill, that might be the distraction, but he's been spotted already. Brokey doing a lot of damage, and Rain. He's just waiting for it. He wants the perfect timing here. 30 seconds, and he's finally going to start to creep on out. He could be shot in the back, I think, almost by Shocks, but it's going to be a pick pick off there, and now he's looking for it up on top of the hut, and yeah, there's Shocks creeping in. 20 seconds now. Apex has the bomb, which is a little bit unfortunate if Brokey gets the kill. He's up. Oh! oh! He knows scopes him, and he almost escapes. It's so close, but it's going to be a quad kill for Shocks instead. What a tense round, and Apex, you see him absolutely freaking out. Oh, my Lord. And he had to sit back down at his chair. I think he second guessed going all the way up the ladder. Yeah, that might have been the round winning play if he had committed to going up after this shot. I can't believe he even went for this. That is uh, a decision born of insanity. Oh, he missed it. That's why he fell off the ladder. Didn't make it all the way up. That that sucks. Eight to five. So close. But Vitality, you have to say, they have withstood an early barrage from Nico. Yep. And they have withstood uh, an insane start for FaZe overall to now be right back in this game. Eight to five, and they've broken the economy. They have a chance to close this gap to seven. Yeah, what a brilliant comeback that would be. And again, I mean, you have to appreciate just Apex being able to make a bunch of amazing calls in this first half. This, uh, this is just some truly impressive in-game leading coming out from him. He's found so many openings. He's, I mean, obviously we talked about sort of, you know, FaZe potentially putting in a lot of preparation for this particular game, but it's obvious that Vitality have as well. Really coming out with an incredible game plan so far. Masuta going to be finding Cold Zero outside. It's just pistols on the FaZe side. So should be no real issue here for them to clean up and at least get that sixth round. 
Nice kill from uh, RPK watching the flank. Yeah, this is um, this is interesting. I mean, FaZe, as, as the desk kind of talked about, uh, the same maps that were played in the last series they had against uh, Vitality, so they're going to be intimately familiar, but also the same maps they just played, you know, against Complexity more recently. So, I mean, if Vitality ever felt like they actually needed to do some extra research, they, they actually have exactly how Complexity beat them on these two maps. We're able to look into that and have a game plan for tonight. We mentioned, uh, I mentioned earlier in this half, it looked like Vitality definitely testing the upper defense, which was uh, destroyed over and over again by Complexity. So now 8-6 here on Nuke in this first half and going into the final round. The only thing I, I think that may be also be worth uh, touching them on, especially if people didn't watch the game, was yesterday is that we, we did see some really terrible disappearances from Vitality in some of the halves where, you know, they had great beginnings and then sort of, you know, on some of those CT sides, they didn't know what to do. I'm not saying it has to happen today, but that's the only thing that, that can make me feel, uh, you know, a little bit uncomfortable about this, uh, the French performance so far. Because they're playing great Counter-Strike right now. It's absolutely great to see. Outside, Apex gonna be uh, looking for a kill. He knew Nico was gonna be there. Again, intelligent stuff coming out, but he almost, uh, and he almost cleared it up himself. Gonna be another kill for Masuta. Inside, Rain will get completely taken out by RPK. And another round that just looks so smooth and so well prepared here for Vitality. It's like they know everything that's coming. It's so cool to see. Yeah, well, again, I mean, from the later stage of this half, that upper bomb site has just gotten wrecked over and over again. Again, this one, this round, it almost just felt too easy. I mean, that's that's Cold Zero losing a duel inside of Hut when he was in the rafters, and then it's RP. I mean, RPK just dropping rain behind that box. So, yeah, Vitality <laughs> just had everything planned for through the smoke, a headshot onto the Moss, and there goes Brokey. If we could be ready to call him one of the one of the great in-game leaders in Europe and maybe the world right now, the, the level of of preparation here is nuts. <laughs> It's actually incredible. I'm calling it out, yeah, Jason. I'll I'm with stand you by for, it. I'm with you for a lot of that. I'm with you for a lot of that. Not the whole way, but I but I like where you're where you're headed. I like where your mind's at. I'm excited as well. That was a great first half. Oh, here they go. Oh, what a beautiful shot! Masuta taking two. They would have been wiped out if he hadn't hit that shot. I'm guaranteeing it. Apex coming in with a lot more as well. Already the double, and there's the triple to win the round. I just love Apex right now. <laughs> He's got it all. That is fantastic. I'm not going to lie to you, Anders. I haven't quite seen that. I didn't give the PC an old restart during the halftime break. So this one's uh, all you for the moment while I get back in. Listen, it's fine. You'll get it later. We'll bring all the highlights out. It's it's worth rewatching. I just... I don't know. I, yeah. I'm buying all of the Apex stock, Jason. I'm so ready. I'm so in. <laughs> this is the one time French Counter-Strike won't hurt me, Jason. I can feel it. It's, it's going to be yeah. a lasting love this time. This is the turnaround right here, the one we've been <laughs> waiting for. <laughs> well, <laughs> Pumas is ready with the uh, MAC-10 to try and push through into the UMP of Misuta, who's almost out of bullets. He's going to pick up the USP instead. He's ready for more. Brokey will take him down, but it doesn't matter. He did a fine job, and Brokey has been put down back into a one versus four, so that is going to make his job really quite tricky. Um, Here's, here's something interesting, because we did we did talk a lot about Apex, obviously. Well, maybe I just talked a lot about Apex. Cyberwind Shocks as well. Misuta, in some of the early stages in this tournament, was was actually one of the main points of conversation as well. And I think since then, it's not that he's been playing badly at all. He's just returned to, like, a, a good base level. But it'd be interesting to see what happens to the team if he's going to have a game where he's, you know, performing just a little bit above his average, which... which um is looking good for it right now. Those are some excellent kills in the beginning of this uh, second half here. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, nice find from Brokey. Any damage he can do, but that's it. Just the just the one kill on top of the hut. Two kills overall in the round. Nine to eight. Vitality take their uh, their first lead of the game. And man, that that start from Cold Zera feels so long ago. We still haven't gotten Cold Zera involved. Brokey still kind of starting to show up. Rain and Bamas still very quiet as well. This Vitality team is coming back by teamwork, and and Faze haven't found the answer just yet. Why <laughs> sharks making memes? <laughs> that that can't be real. That can't be a real face that people make. It just is. Oh man. If he's not careful, it's gonna stick like that. Nico going down, Sanbu outside, a little bit of awkward fight here with the Tech-9. Shocks. Well, now you can put on that face again. 
Nice shot from Apex <laughs> and his trusty orb. I just... I'll, I'll hold off for a round talking about Apex. I'll give you that, Jason. But then next round, I'm back again. It's not me you have to worry about. It's, uh, it's the viewers. You know, I'm used to your shenanigans. Tech 9's not going to work at that range. Two round lead for Vitality, but the AKs are going to come out this round. FaZe Clan finally have the money to invest in some real weaponry. All I'm saying is if there's a fantasy league, I'm, I'm buying it every single time now. It's just, it's just so good. 10 to 8, uh, <laughs> the current scoreline. So a two round lead, which is really not that much. I mean, again, don't want to get too ahead of ourselves here. We've got Brookie back on the AWP. We've got some AKs in the mix here for FaZe. So let's see what uh, their level of preparation looks like here. They've had a lot of chances to watch Vitality on this map as well. So they could have done a lot of research and homework as well. Early on, Apex out on top of the roof there. Oh, he's going to go down rain with an instant headshot. And a good return from Shox, but he should also be fairly trapped out here. Should be hard for him to escape or get many more kills. Yeah, well, I mean, not for long. Zywoo's coming over with the AWP. I'm surprised he made that play. Zywoo just got to the back of Warehouse. He had the cover, but not for long. Brokey with the double kill. He straight up challenges and wins it. A missed shot there. Oh, and that could spell so much trouble. Somehow this has turned into a one versus one. And what's really awkward about these one-on-ones is when there's so much time since the last engagement, like there has been now, it's sort of anybody's guess. It's, it becomes this weird coin flip. The mouse obviously has to go get the bomb, try and find a bomb site, but he would have no idea where to look. And if he just if he's looking the wrong way, it doesn't matter how much health RBK has or what kind of weapon he has. It's just going to be that weird coin flip. And RBK currently all the way in the lobby. Let's see. Oh man. He he might be running a very long route, RPK, in this one versus one. And now he actually has to make noise, make footsteps. But I think he started walking before the Moss heard anything. Plant's going to go down. Molotov towards heaven will do nothing. RPK still a long way away, so Bamas has a chance to find safety in the post plant. He has an HE grenade that will almost certainly kill RPK if he's anywhere near him. So that's a bit interesting because RPK could uh, Molotov and smoke and do a lot of things himself to try and make this more winnable. He's walked this whole way without getting spotted, and now he just has to find out exactly where Bimaz is. Not in that corner. It's a dangerous game of hide-and-seek going on. He's going to tap the bomb a single time, Bimaz. Not even firing into it. He's just guessing, and oh, it's the wrong angle, but he'll make up for it anyway. He could have gone down then. A tense one-on-one -on -one to bring FaZe the first round in the second half on their board. That's very important. Yeah, that's a huge clutch to provide your team. Look at these exchanges. Great tap from, from Rain. This was brilliant. That's not even a flashbang. That's just Brokey peeking into and out opping Zaiwu. Very impressive, but that's where they almost dropped the round. Missed shots from both players outside into a one-on-one. -on -one. And stress is everywhere in this series. Org is back on Apex. Nico's out there as well with an AK-47, so gotta be real careful. Vitality have spent their money into this round, so, I mean, so have FaZe. So this 20th round is, is gonna be one of the pivotal ones for sure to decide who's gonna have the better shot at it going into the last third of the map here. A lot of Molotovs and smokes out here to try and block it off. They're not gonna go and fight Apex at the minute. We'll see if they actually wanna go down? I mean, they've got four people out here. Well, it's good smokes as well, because there's actually a pretty heavy defense mounted outside as well, and they negate everything. Until the very end, Cold Zera didn't quite make it before the smokes fade, and they saw the bomb trying to make its way down secret, and again, Cold Zera's had some very awkward and weirdly timed deaths in this game. Yeah. And that frustration is going to be mounting. Two smokes and a Molotov to make their way into the lower bomb site. There's going to be a pretty staunch defense here, though. Yeah, they need a strong opening kill to even dream of getting in here at 25 seconds. Definitely running the clock very low at the moment. 
Shocks and Saiwu with a bit of a crossfire setup. Not seeing anyone down here, which might have them. Yeah, he's going to turn back. He's so confused about why no one has showed up, but now they're going to have confirmation. Now they know. Ten seconds on the clock. Misuto will get a kill off him, and that bomb plant is going to be absolutely denied. No chance for it now. Time has run out, and Rain It's a good kill and a good turnaround, making this expensive, but they're still going to lose the round no matter what here. Actually, Rain taking three people with him is not bad at all, all things considered. I mean, I am starting to worry a little bit about Cold Zero as well, because I swear they could have crossed out there without him dying at all. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not exactly sure what took him so long. I think he walked up close along the wall and then had to kind of back up towards Secret. But, but I mean, regardless, some of these kills have just prevented him from even having any impact in the rounds or having a chance to have an impact in the rounds. And then when you add the frustration on top of that, I think it's going to make for some very uh, odd decisions that he makes in the game. Nico is 21 and two at some point in the first half. Yeah. He's now 23 and 10. So he's he's been two and eight in the last, uh, you know, so-and-so rounds. This is, and, and without him being the powerhouse, the workhorse that he was at, in the start of the first half, FaZe is really getting, getting slaughtered. This is the midst of an eight to one run for Vitality. Yeah, I think it's just, it's super impressive. And if their CT side could be even half of what the T side was in terms of making the right calls, they, I think, are going to have a pretty good shot at doing this. They've got the economy behind them now as well. Shock's going to be running right through the smoke, not even afraid a little bit there. Forward defense, looks like it's going to be some sort of an A hit here after the initial grenades have gone away from the Vitality side. Faze is going to be Molotoving that standard position, but Shox is already shooting them in the back as they make their way through. And that is going to make you feel so uncomfortable every single time. You're trying to push the bomb side, and you're getting tickled by that MP9 as you go through. That is just annoying. Faze didn't even get the kill on Shox at all, so what a great play. Oh my word, 12 to 9. This is a collapse out of phase. They need something and they need it right now. It might be time to call another timeout, but they have no access into this bomb site, not even getting the kills. And it's 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 crazy. I have to imagine it's gotta be so so another point of frustration for FaZe when they have vitality in the first half and complexity yesterday, just running them over in that upper bomb site, and they cannot replicate that success themselves on the T side. It's so difficult for them to find access to the bomb site running the same strategies. I think they've gotta be very, very confused. Yeah, you have to imagine. And some of the frustration that we're, you know, started to feel a little bit. Again, Pimas, eight kills, Pulsira, 11 kills. Some of those just need maybe a little bit more. A couple of rounds where they, where they get, you know, a kill and stay alive. There's been a lot of trading going on for both of them at the moment. And this time it's just pistols, so... Well, one of the cool things that we saw I think out of Vitality when they were playing on the T side was just the, the determination in the calls when they had those wraps, you know, Apex running into main, or sorry, into mini and just, you know, opening up that A bomb site. There was just no hesitation. Even in the rounds where it didn't work out, I remember Shocks running down to Secret behind the smoke alone. Even if he got stopped by a Molotov, it's like yeah. once the plan was called, there was a clear follow through. There wasn't like any kind of a second guessing anything. All right. That's a nice shot. Well, Rain's coming alive. Yeah, a good follow-up double kill. And added in the Galils of the previous round. They're doing oh, no. great economic damage. And now they have a chance to win the round oh, the in bomb. its entirety. The Two miles versus away. one. Yeah, that's fine. There's there's 26 seconds. The real issue is they don't really know where Zaiwu is, so that's got to feel a bit dangerous. But, I mean, Rain can just hustle it into the upper bomb site. The problem is if he decides to get tricky. And fortunately, I don't even think he actually has time to drop down Venton, even if he yeah. wanted to. So they'll subvert Zaiwu at all. And this is a one versus two for 2019's best player to put a 13th round on the board for Vitality. He's got to overcome Cold Zera and Rain. Yeah, and they have a flashbang, which Coltier won't probably know when to throw, so that probably w is not going to be working out that well. They can't really fight him either, because they're so low on health that it wouldn't make sense for them to try and peek him. Going to be walking in, and there's the opening side. who only takes a little bit of damage, and now he's under a lot of pressure. He does have the smoke, but what is that going to matter? There's a wall bang, but counter one coming out. That's dangerous, Rain. Why are you playing that game? And he's going to go down. Oh, God, he makes it in the end, surviving on just 12 health. But with the defuse kit, he'll have the round. A brilliant one versus two. You said the best player of 19, and he picks it up.
I can't believe Rain tried to wallbang that. If that had even if that connected on return, he's just dead. Yeah, well, what what can you really do when you have that low HP? It's it's, it's a desperate situation, and that is uh, that's really harsh. Cold Zera even looking towards heaven. He was exposed from that degree. Great response. Rain did have the chance to close that out, just could not hit the headshot. 13 to 9 for Vitality, but the economic damage is done. FaZe need a win now, because they can put Vitality on the back foot in terms of their money if they can win this round. Pop flash through, Shox is aggressive, and he's found Nico. This is the it's, version. And it's so hard to... It's so hard to try and respond if you're Rain, because you know Zaiwu is watching that with an AWP. Yeah. Yeah, he can't just swing to, to get the revenge kill. You're absolutely right. Nice shot from Simon right in the elbow of Brokey. You just... This is the version of Vitality. If you could have this every time, what a team this would be. The only problem is when they go missing, uh, which we definitely saw cases of yesterday when they were playing against Na'Vi, although they did overcome all of that. And, and this second half is looking, in my opinion, just brilliant. I love that play from Sharks to go aggressive. And then just taking down Nico. I, I just think the game plan right now for Vitality is so solid. I don't see them get it, losing this at all. No, I mean, especially because FaZe haven't shown us they know how to, like, win anything in the second half. On this T side, it's, it's really falling flat. Especially now that the fragging production of Nico has just entirely fallen off the face of the Earth. It's nowhere to be found. He might not even have a kill in the second half, maybe just one, but this this is really brutal. Yeah, and for is. a style that's not kind of really predicated on set pieces and having an entry fragger the way Vitality, you need those picks, you need those individual players to be having good games. That's a nice trade, but it doesn't actually gain you a whole lot because Vitality's rotated right into position. Shox has dropped the bomb. Rain now in a one versus four, stuck in the bomb site. They'll challenge, and he's going to go down. Vitality, two rounds away from taking Nuke. Absolutely loving it. Yeah, uh, I mean, Apex probably could have both those kills coming through. I think he just got... Maybe a little bit excited with the org there. But 14 to 9. And you're right, we have not seen FaZe really prove to us that they have anything like the uh, the level of understanding of what's going on here on the T side. That vitality definitely showed us. Oh, now we are getting Woo. some of the earthquakes. That was like a that was like a 4.5 or something on the Richter scale, I think. It's not quite the Quake Zero <laughs> yet, but. Not Quake Zero. We gotta come up with there'll be a cool name for Nico doing it. Rain's just going to turn right into mini. I like this. This is the most aggressive play we've seen on a phase in this whole half, and it's working. Cold Zera with two stunning entries. Nice trade into the bomb site. Shocks could put a stop to it. The timing on that flank was pretty aggressive, but I think with the money the way it is, Vitality going to try and save. Yeah, as well they should, even, uh, even with some money in the bank, which is not even actually that much. That, that may be the, again, what it all comes down to is, is if they can break the economy of Vitality, at least they could go on a bit of a run. At least they could start to get warmed up. Nice round. Good good play from, from FaZe. Hitting, and you, you, you actually mentioned this in the first half, right? When you're doing those A attacks, so much counts on getting the first kill as you enter the bomb site. Yeah. Well, I mean, especially when you come in through many of that part, we get stopped. You know, we know how much of a... Oh, this is not good. Shox is going to with the bomb, and that's that's great because Rain had very low HP. Didn't really have the health to take that fight. 14 to 10. Now, the one thing that FaZe have to figure out is if they win that round because the tactic was good or if because the change of pace catches Vitality off guard. And they're going to need to win two in a row. Vitality can do... I mean, losing Shox actually kind of hurts. They can do a couple cool things with the economy. Obviously, a four-round lead, so that I don't think they want to risk the whole thing in this round. I think we're going to see a half-buy with Deagles, maybe some P250s, some utility. But FaZe need to figure out if they can win that kind of a round consistently. If they go back to attacking Mini, if they go to something fast... And interestingly enough, this is the fourth timeout for Vitality. Even in winning this game so far, they had to use so many timeouts in the first half when FaZe, remember was up big they were up eight to three at one point and at that i think i think vitality used three timeouts in that first half just to figure it out and look at what it's allowed them to do a 14 10 lead a chance to close things out yeah real big chance of some of the round shocks have had here where he's just 
He's the one taking the initiative. You know, FaZe lose a player to him just before they even get into their plan. He just needs to do that one more time, maybe once or twice more, and, and they're good to go. This round, obviously, with just mostly pistols, they're going to be grouping up in the ramp room, hoping for a mistake on the FaZe side. And they can easily go back outside and fight Yard if, if that's what it comes down to, so why not? Apex out there with the M4 as well, so... He's just going to be the early point of contact if it comes to it. Obviously, if they go A, then then there's not going to be much of a defense. But I, th I think this is a reasonable gamble. They have two HE grenades as well in ramp. Here comes Utility. There's that deep wall close towards Mini. Again, I think they're just going to turn in. Three yeah. players in lobby with success in Mini last time. I don't see why you wouldn't just go for it. It's a different timing. They might not expect it. Yeah, they think it's not the pace. They think it's the strategy that won them the previous round. With just Eagles, no one from Vitality is actually defending this bomb site. So for FaZe, you're going to get a nice easy plant. And now it's about establishing an, an escape route out of away from the uh, away from the blast. Are we going to see the double nade anyway? Let's see. Let's set it up. Find a way. Get up the ladder for shocks. Maybe don't maybe don't climb the ladder with the grenade in hand. Oh, it's gonna be the corner. Listen, ladders are already dangerous, yeah, you Jason. Think that's that if you have grenades. Yeah, violating I mean, some OSHA rules. I think that there definitely will be. I don't think it's gonna be like where would you even hold a grenade? You you couldn't hold it with your hands as you're climbing. You'd have to hold it in your teeth, like right in the pin. It's not a good idea. Like is a it? like a pirate. Like a pirate explosive grenade pirate. <laughs> like we're a 2020 type pirate, yeah. Why not? Um, <laughs> okay, so here's a question. Have to hold it by the pin. Yeah. Yeah. They um, they they win that previous round, doing that split into eight. They do it again here, and Vitality probably. I think you know they probably could guess what happened, even if no one is in the A bomb side, because they they would have had Apex out there. They saw the wall of smokes. They hit the, heard the flashbangs and everything else. Do FaZe want to do it again a third time? I mean, Vitality don't have an enormous amount of grenades to throw down the sort of classic grenades you'd use to stop it. Three times in a row is a lot. Uh, I'd go back to it. Why not? Especially with that change of timing, it's not fast-paced. The way they did it, I think, was, was really well. And, yeah, you can know what's happening. You can hear, like, Vitality might have the idea of, like, oh, yeah, they're splitting the upper bomb site through mini and through lobby. But they don't actually know, you know, the sequence of grenades that are used for each different position. They had no one in the bomb site to actually check it out. So I wouldn't be afraid to go back to it if I was FaZe. Apex playing at the front of mini right now, where the smoke wall plumed in the previous round, and it might just happen again. Does he want to get aggressive through it? I wonder if Zai he could... going to be backed up underneath heaven. Do you think he could body block the smoke if he was a true genius? Could that happen? He's gone right there. It looked like he might have been trying. Might actually be a pretty big gap. He's going to get flashed in for a kill. Oh, what a setup. I don't think Rain was flashed, but he was certainly jumping to get away from that. And he's going to be dead. That is so cool. And yeah, that, that's a huge gap in that smoke. Did he block it? I don't know. I didn't check it properly. Apex gets one more taking down Cold Sierra. Now that armor of the attack is gone. And I think the whole strategy is just completely down the drain. Shox is here to take down another two. A brilliant offense coming out here from Vitality. That is not just them waiting passively for that strat to hit again, but actually taking it away from them. I'd love yeah, to see. Yeah, just saying. Okay, if you're gonna run that strategy, if you're gonna run that strategy, we're gonna be in position to have the perfect counter for it. And by the way, that's also a setup that Complexity yep. ran on Nuke yesterday. We saw Blame F in this position, he waiting for any indication they were coming outside. Took a pop flash and then peek. And yeah, we did see Apex there. Just blocked that smoke enough to create that gap. I'm telling you, the man is a genius. I just, there's no way around it. Brokey. To take down Saibu Yeah, but where's this on. genius Ben? French Counter-Strike has needed this for like five years. I know. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to ask him about that one day. Um, you know, he's been saving it's... it for a long time. He's been... It's like it's like fine French wine, Jason. It gets better over the years. He's just... He's been he's been having it in the basement, just, you know, waiting to, to pop it out. He's like, the prize pools need to get high enough. The excitement needs to be there. And now he's ready. Yeah, I mean, I guess so. 
He's been he was lost in the in the French Civil War of NBK and shocks, and we have Apex just waiting at the sidelines for his moment to shine. Here it is, and he's taking advantage. RPK going to find one kill. They know exactly where he's at. One versus three as he backs into the upper bomb site. But Faye's still alive in this just barely. And winning three rounds in a row is not entirely out of the realm of possibility, despite how this half has looked so far. No, they can absolutely do that. Uh, you know, again, we're going to be going back to the money. Uh, so 12 to 15, that's the scoreline. But Vitality could either try and force into this round and have a questionable buy. I mean, they'd be missing a lot of grenades. We've seen already how important those could be on Nuke. Or if they, if they sort of go halfway there, I see an auto shock on an Apex. I can't think of a better way to end this game or this map if, if Apex just picks up five kills with the auto shotgun here. I don't know, I might have lost a little bit of control yeah, of, the, is of the simulation, Jason, but... The simulation? <laughs> but let's see if we can make it happen. Let's see. Masuk is on top of the hut. RPK in the bomb site. Apex with that other shotgun at the, the least applicable position of a shotgun on the entire map. Although he's down in secret now. Walking towards the stairs. Faze is very cautious. They don't want to run into any kind of an aid stack whatsoever. And uh, as we ha as we outlined earlier, if you guys didn't hear it, the winner of this not only faces complexity in the grand final, but they guarantee them spot in the global finals. Yes. Of the blast circuit. So this this match does have like a twofold twofold purpose to it. Ooh, Apex. Oh dear. Here we go. Auto shotgun in hand. In the corner. He's all in on this. There's no escaping. They're going to be walking in front of him. There's the first one. The second, he nearly gets it. It's such a good lineup. He could have definitely had Rain as well. I think uh, Nico and Rain both might have had a heart attack in that moment. Still just a one-for-one -one trade, and the rest are all pistols. So FaZe should be able to recover here. The Mas, though, yeah, he doesn't get peaked. Sai will look in the wrong way. That could have been dangerous. If he'd gone down, it would have been real awkward. Yeah, this is a risky, risky angle to hold if you're Bimas. Got to have those quick reactions. 25 seconds on the clock. They're running it down low. The bomb is outside waiting in rain right outside mini, but Cold Zara needs this kill. Shocks to the left, and no, he goes down. And that's a powerful position for an AK in the time. 12 seconds now, and they're falling. Rain can't take the battle. He's got to get into the site. He's got to stick the plant. One versus two for Masuta, and he's got an angle on top of Hut. Look away from the flashbang there. He's going to go for the spray. He gets the one and almost the follow-up. It is close, but not close enough. They'll lose the round 13 to 15 here. I, I actually can't believe it. Like, Misuta, the way that he jumps up there at the end, if he gets caught while jumping, then that's that would have got him killed right away. But still, what a close round here. And back with the money now on Vitality. AWP in the hands of Zaiwu. Two more chances for Vitality to close out Nuka, or otherwise we're going to overtime. This has been really cool to see FaZe grind back into this. Four of the last five in their favor, showing some life here at the end of the map when they absolutely had to. Apex and Mini, Cold Zera, Nico, and Rain outside for the moment, looking for aggression. Rain on top of the silo, going to drop away just now. And Apex has been stellar in this position. He's been stellar this whole game, 22 and 16. Oh, the grenade could be amazing. If he actually went for it there, I think it would have hit at least a couple of people. There's a fourth one coming in. Now come the smokes, and he, yeah, he's going to set up the grenade anyway. This can actually be really good. A lot of damage. Look at that on rain. <laughs> that is a nuclear bomb landing on phase. And they're not going to be happy at all. They are making their way down, but they're already softened up quite a bit. So even if they all make it here, that's, that's going to be a problem later in the round. No one's dropped yet for Vitality. The nades being thrown at the upper bomb site gonna freeze those defenders. Shox is the closest over in ramp room, and I guess Vitality's like calling the bluff and saying, we don't actually believe you crossed over to secret, but they're wrong. Yeah. Phase is here. They're clearing out control windows for the moment. Shock's the only one. There's going to be a lurk in ramp room as well. But Moss has to make his play now because Shock's and Zaiwu are going to be dangerous. zaiwu has got to turn around now. But no, he's flanked by the flankers again. And Nico alive over is going to get one more. That's Apex to drop down. And a four on two. Masuta and RPK must fall back.
Well, credit to you if you could keep track in that round of who was flanking who at any one given time, because I kind of lost control for a minute there, but it worked out for FaZe. Man, you see Bumas in that minute, right? He gets the one kill, and that's, that's plenty enough. It means that the bomb will go down on the other side. If he had waited and said, you know what, I want I want two kills, like, let, let's try and see if we could double it up, he could have get shot in the back, and suddenly it could have been a brilliant round out of Vitality. So, as much as we sometimes yeah. praise people for, you know, trigger discipline and like, oh yeah, he got two instead of one, it's great. That, you can see how it could backfire, and the fact that he just took that one kill was actually very important in that moment. I think also, I don't think they had the call yet. I don't think they'd seen the AWP on Zaiwu at that point. So maybe if he has the call that there's two there, he holds the trigger as well. I mean, there's a lot of things that could have gone wrong there. Regardless, the one kill on Shocks does just enough. Phase now one round away and Vitality fighting with Scraps. They've had so many chances to close this out. Five of six rounds Phase have ripped out of their hands on this T side in this comeback. Nades to blow open the door, standard Molotov in towards Mini and Vitality fighting with mostly SMGs. It feels only justified if we get some overtime uh, in this game right now. I feel like we all deserve it. Definitely uh, be cool to see if FaZe could continue the comeback, and for me personally, it gives me more of a chance to, to watch Apex play, so, you know, I appreciate that. <laughs> it's Anders' new favorite player of all time, is, is Apex. I didn't expect Do it either. Do into it, stairs. I know, it's come out of nowhere. It's been a, it's been a great little resurgence from Apex. Zaiwu's going to back away. He's blinded. Deep smokes towards the window, towards heaven, and Rain is going to get a close angle. Hamas, big job to do a second push in. That's a nice trade from RPK. They have control of lobby. And they've kind of, I mean, Vitality and FaZe have switched spots in this round almost. Yeah, they have. Rain's position is incredibly dangerous. W one little mistake inside of the A-bomb site, one little distraction, a flashbang or anything, anyone looking the wrong way, and this round is going to collapse, and it's, it will be over time. They just need that one split second, Dude. so let's see if this works. It's all on shocks. There's three players in the upper site, and look, that's a rough angle to watch above. Yeah. If there's any pressure from Mini, surely Shocks' attention is taken away. I don't know, Rain is the one initiating this. They're all wrapping around now, down towards... So he's just holding it. They're, they're not going to go for the side. He's just waiting, holding the vent, counting people. He knows another one waited down. That is an incredible call. Apex down here. He can't do anything with just the MP9. I that We have seen great calls out of Italian on the T side, but this one from FaZe, that is next level as well. Yeah, that, that's the best strat call we saw to phase in this entire second yes. half. And that's going to be the one that forces them into overtime. What a brilliant move. Brain plays it to perfection. Another kill for Cold Zera. Zaiwu goes down as well, and FaZe have done it. They rattle off four rounds in a row to get to 15-15, and we've got overtime in map one of the loser finals. Wow, that is really well done. I actually, I was losing my mind because I thought what would happen is that somehow Rain would be the one to initiate from, from the heaven and uh, that would have just been yeah. the worst call of all time. But instead, you know, they, they outplayed me as well. I even had the minimap, but I wasn't, I wasn't even aware of what was going on. That was so cool. What a great idea. When I, lo when I looked at the minimap and saw no one in mini, I was getting real nervous. I was like, <laughs> this is how it happens. This is how they just trickle in to try and attack that upper bomb site one by yeah. one and shocks just kills two of them and, there's, and the, the round just slowly ends. What a, what a great call out of nowhere for FaZe. 15-15. Money issues disappear for the moment. It's MR3, 10,000 start money. It's been a while since I've seen Cold Sierra in a really awkward engagement, but I haven't seen him in any really great ones either yet. So if we could tip the scale from him having sort of awkward deaths into, what? into him having none and then having... Uh, did the grenade disappear again? How did that grenade do no damage? I don't know. I wasn't even... God. Bless. So I don't pay a lot of attention, <laughs> Jason. We'll need the replay. I didn't have caster camera on, so I don't even know if it was on Nico, but that grenade looked like it just it literally just fell at his toes and did no damage whatsoever. Oh, Either way, I, the AWP oh. will do damage. Sorry, Cold Zero. I was saying, if he could stop yeah. having weird deaths and, and get into having... It's not that he's been doing badly. He's got 19 kills. It's not a terrible game from him, but... I want to see the, the real Cold Zero. Well, we'll get him eventually. It's not too often that he disappears for an entire series. 
27 kills on Nico, 19 on Rain and Cold. It's 22 kills on Apex and 20 on RPK and Shocks. It's it's the old guys carrying Vitality in this map so far, which you don't see every day. Shocks gonna get close up along the smoke wall. Remember, they're a bit nervous because FaZe has executed the mini crunch a couple of times. Yeah. Instead, they're gonna cross over, and again, just as the smokes fade, they get into secret stairs. Almost a second too late there again. I don't know why they're leaving it in until the very last second. That's super Time, dangerous. Yeah. Here they go. Going to be Molotov solving away shocks. They're going to crunch the bomb side against. Oh, 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 that is one hell of an entry for the Norwegian player. Bumas will take down another two, and just like that, phase. I mean, almost guaranteed to win this round. I don't know what shocks and Apex are doing. They got to think about the money too. That is a an incredibly disturbing entry from Rain. Yeah, Zaibu didn't even have time to react. And these these weapons are actually so important. Remember, 10,000 start money, if you lose the first two rounds as the CT side in this overtime, you are dead broke in the final. And Shox is committed. I don't think we're going to be seeing him escape here. Sur surely he's not going for a ninja. Oh. Holy shit, he might just do it. This is so possible. Oh my god. He has to run right now. He's going to be in there with a the knife. I don't think anyone's heard it. He's <gasps> on the bomb. He's got it. He's oh done my it. god. He's done it. Right into the overtime. And this is how it starts. What a next level play. <laughs> oh no. FaZe are going to be so upset. You've wanted a ninja defuse for some time. What a way to get it. It's been a hot minute since we've seen one like that. What style out of shocks. In a bold decision to try and go for it, as we just mentioned, the money is so critically important, and FaZe lose track of one huge detail. I cannot believe it. What a beautiful game this is. Saewoo will get a quick kill. RPK tapping away as they try and get in. The bomb is on the floor. They have to commit to it. And RPK is focused just on killing Nico. No diversion there. Apex just power dropping into the bomb side for a quick kill as well. And a 17 to 15 lead here. That has got to be back breaking. Those ninja diffusers almost never happen. And he, he does it just so smoothly. It's going to disrupt the entire flow and emotion of FaZe, but also look at what the turnaround it just has in the rounds. We were talking about that in the context of Vitality straight up running out of money going into the third round, and that FaZe just didn't even, doesn't even have that chance. Once that Ninja Diffuse comes in, I cannot believe all the experience on this team, and they left nobody close enough to watch for that play. What a gaffe, and it's going to be costly. Strong opening from Apex winning against Nico outside. It's either him or Shocks taking out Nico in that yard for a good long while here in the second half and into overtime as well, it seems. Wow, we've had some real plays throughout these uh this this spring uh, finals here. It's it's truly been something. It's simple with that that obnoxious ace and 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 this play here from Shocks, that is absolutely next level. I just, I, yeah, that, I, I, Shock's even going for that is, is amazing. And he found the perfect position to do it in. I just cannot believe FaZe made a mistake of such epic proportions. And a situation where they can steal the entire map away from Vitality. They've been behind this whole way, and it puts him in such a hole once again. Down two rounds in the first half of overtime. Wall is going to signify they want to go to secret. Huge win in towards lo lobby. Actually, Bimas has done a pretty damn good job of holding down lobby throughout this entire half. But Apex, again, is going to be the player that FaZe have to cross if they want to make this attack work. He's lined up a double, but can't complete it. Only gets the one frag, and Cold Zera is going to book it. Yeah, he could try and swing against him again, but there's only 20 seconds. They really need to move. Nice shot from Cold Sierra. Apex might have known that, but somehow not going to be able to get it. The RPK spray coming in, though. A big double. 10 seconds now for Cold, and he can't even find them in time. He's going to be going down. That is a brilliant start to the overtime here. The Ninja Diffuse and all three rounds going in favor of Vitality. They are, I mean, they're one step away from winning this map. Oh yeah, just one round, all they need in the second half when they switch over. And remember, they figured out the phase defense by the end of that first half in regulation. They were the dominant team. I think they won the final four rounds of the half. 18 to 15, Vitality one away. We're looking for 19, and FaZe must be perfect in a game where we've already seen a few mistakes cropping up here and there. 
Yeah, it's gonna have to be one hell of a defense here. Vitality, quick out mini. They're gonna be rushing straight in through Squeak and him. Rain, no one checked him yet. He's still there. He could swing for a kill. He's gonna be a big double spray down. That might put the round back in contention or they would have lost it already. Bomb should be a quick plant here as they're Molotoving up uh, Heaven and smoking out the uh, mini for a second there. And a lot of damage from the Molotov. Nico and Bamas both uh, taking a fair bit of fire damage from that. So three on three now. With the bomb plan, though, Vitality have got all of the lead, and that is another grenade landing on top of them. Oh, another one coming in. Oh, they're gonna explode! There is no chance now. Bumas is low on health. Nico is dead already. And RPK gonna get one more kill, leaving Bumas alone to go down the sidewards.